All right, so this morning I took the loader off of my tractor. It was about 50 degrees outside and now I need to put it back on and it's about 80 degrees and I can't get it on because the hydraulic lines are pressurized. And it's not the male coupler, it's the female coupler. And I can't get anything in there. I've tried it putting a steel rod in there and pushing down and I can't get enough force to break it free. So I had to make a tool. I looked online and I couldn't really find any. The, um, they make them to relieve the male portion, but I didn't see any to re relieve the female portion. So this is what I've made. Hopefully it's gonna work. I just took a male end. You look down inside of it and you see a retaining ring. You take that retaining ring out and then all the guts fall out. So then I just got a pipe plug drilled and tapped a hole in it. All right, I've got the plug mounted in the vise and I'm, I'm drilling it out to a letter F for a 5 16 tap. All right, I got a 5 16 tap in here. And we'll get this tapped out. And now I'm gonna tap that entire plug. There's really no reason to do that other than I don't wanna to have to flip it over and counter bore it. <laughs> then took just a carriage bolt and welded um, a piece of wire across the top. Pretty ugly weld. And then just welded a handle onto it. I want because I want to be able to get a hold of it when I'm tightening this down. Now take two. There's no relief hole drilled in here to let the oil out, but I'm thinking these threads are really sloppy. So I'm thinking it's just gonna leak out there, probably spray all over me, but uh, we'll see. If it's a problem, then I might drill a hole out the side, but I think it'll still spray out the back. So I might just have to put a rag over it when I put it in there and do it. All right, let's get down there to the tractor and see if we can make this thing work. All right, so here's one of the lines I'm having trouble with. And I just did the other side. You can see oil all over me. I just did the other side, but unfortunately it wasn't in frame, so you couldn't see it. So it just slides right in there. Tighten it down. And you could hear it let that pressure off. And you can look in there. And that poppet's free to push in now. Okay, so a little messy, but it does work. All right, well, hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.